Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Albert. In today's video, let's solve a Likos this week weekly contest medium problem, number of good leaf nose pairs. I think this is a great uh, tree data structure problem that's worth uh, revisiting and think through. Okay, let's get started. And first, let's read through the question. So given the root of a binary tree and an integer distance, a pair of two different leaf nodes of a binary tree is said to be good if the length of the shortest path between them is less than or equal to the input dis distance. So for this ex example, there are two leaf nodes, uh, 3 and 4, and the distance between, the, between them is 3, which is equal to distance. So in this case, there is only one pair of uh, good leaf nodes pairs, which is 3 and 4. So the output will be 1. And another example, this is a, a full binary tree, and it has uh, four leaf nodes, four, five, and six, seven, and the distance is uh, three. So the only good pair, good leaf nodes pairs is uh, four and five, whose distance is two, and six and seven, uh, their distance is two as well. So in this case, there's only two pair of good leaf nodes. So the output will be two. Okay, so the tricky part of this question is to how to find the distance between uh, every two leaf nodes and then to check if their distance is smaller than the, the input. So the intuition for this problem is first, uh, for tree data structure kind of problem, we always want to think of uh, recursion or DFS that first search to solve it. And for this case, the DFS function will return a list. And this list uh, means that how many leaf nodes are in the left and right subtree of this gi uh, given node and the distance of each leaf nodes from the current node. And in order to get this information, we will perform a post-order DFS. And now let's take a uh, let's try to visualize this uh, process to get a better understanding of it. So here is the uh, example too. So we can uh, start uh, from bottom up, starting from the leaf node. So the two leaf nodes, it will return uh, a list of one, only one element uh, to its parent node. And this list means that uh, there's only for the node two, there's only one uh, leaf node in its uh, left or right subtree. And at here, we can check uh, how many pairs of good leaf nodes are in its left sub subtree. So for this example, there's uh, two for the node two, there's only two leaf nodes in its subtree, four and five, and their distance is two, which is smaller than uh, three. So here we will update the result uh, to one. Okay, and at node two, the DFS function will re return the list of two and two, which means that uh, for this node, its subtree, there's uh, one leaf node that its distance is uh, two from, uh, from this node, and also another leaf node. The distance is also two from from the two. Okay, and because uh, this in this case the tree is symmetric, so basically uh, for the node one, the right subtree will also return to the list of two two as well. And finally, we can get a result uh, two for this example. Now let's see the code in action. So first, we will define a class variable uh, self.res uh, in initialized to be zero. And next, we will define a DFS, a recursion function. And for recursion function, the first thing we always have to do is to de define the base cases, uh, base conditions. 
So if the node is null, then we will just return an empty list. And if we saw a leaf node which has no uh, left and right children, then we will just return a list of uh, only one. And then we will post uh, DFS into the left and right subtree and get the result, uh, which I call a left list and right list here. And next is the key part to update uh, self.rest. So here I will uh, I use uh, Python list comprehension to do through every element in the left list and right list. And remember, uh, the list is stored. Uh, what is the distance of the leaf node from the current uh, from the current node? So the list, the distance between every pair of leaf nodes is basically uh, L plus R, which is the element in the left subtree and the element of the right subtrees. And if this is, uh, if the distance of the two leaf nodes is smaller than the input, then this will be what B1, since this is a Boolean expression. Otherwise, uh, it will be zero. So this is basically the number of good leaf uh, node pairs. And then we sum them up and then add it back into the rest, uh, self.rest variable. And finally, we will return all the elements in the left list and all the elements in the right list. And then we, we need to increment the distance by one since we are going one level up and then return this to its parent node. And finally, finally is to re run the recursion function, uh, return self.rest as the output. Let's also use the, the previous example to run and test the code. So starting from the leaf node uh, 4 and 5, they will both return list of 1 to its parent node 2. And for node 2, the left list will be 1 and right list will be 1, list of 1 as well. And here we will update uh, self.rest by uh, summing up all the elements in the left list and right list, which is uh, 2 in this case, and 2 is smaller than the distance 3 so we will uh, add that into the self.rest so now the self.rest becomes 1 and finally for node 2 it will uh, combine all the elements of in the left list and right list and then increment the distance by 1 and then return it to its parent node so in this case it will return a list of 2 2 and finally, following up these steps, the final result will be uh, 2. Finally, let's do a quick rev review. So for three data structure problem, always first try to think of recursion or DFS to solve this kind of problem. And the key part for this question is how to write the DFS function. And the base conditions if the node is null, then it will return an empty list. If the node is a leaf node, then it will return a list of only uh, element 1 to its parent node. And the list that the DFS function returns means that there are how many leaf nodes in the left and right subtree and the distance of the leaf nodes from the current node. And these are the information that we need to check, compute the number of pairs of leaf nodes and to check if there are good pair of leaf nodes or not. And underneath the hood, we perform post-order DFS and update rest. Okay, and that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.